halfway through the season, he's probably extended it a bit longer than I thought he would. And that, to me, just underlines even more so the issues with this team. The fact that they do have the number one and number four scorers in this league and are sitting in 25th place or 26th place, it, it just goes to show you all the issues that they have on defense. I mean, you look back to this road trip, five out of the eight games, they gave up four or more goals. You're not going to win a lot that way. And I think when you look at the back end of that trip, especially to hear Jake Voracek say that this team knew that they needed points going into that road trip, Craig Ruby called it season defining. And then to have this team come out and really just roll over the last few games of the trip uh, against some not very good teams, it's got to be alarming. Yeah, especially when they, they started out with that 3-0 and uh, beginning to the, to the road trip. Al Frank said that he thought that Claude Giroux will go tonight. What do you think and how effective do you think he'll be? I think so, and I don't think he'd be a go if he couldn't be an effective player. It wouldn't it would be senseless to send him out there if he can't if he can't be a real effective player. Um, emotional boost. I, 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 sometimes you get more of an emotional boost when when a guy's out. That that's what should happen. Is you come together short term there. But if he's a go and plays with Voracek, I think he's you, know, you look at him as a healthy player. Yesterday on the uh, yesterday on the program, real real quick, um, uh, I wanted to ask you about something that that uh, John Bark brought up, which is Steve Mason seems to be ducking his head on on some shots. Uh, one. Have, have you seen it as prevalent as we saw it yesterday, watching it on? I didn't on see tape. it in the video. No. Yeah, there were there were there were several there were several occasions during the road trip where guys would come in point blank, whether it's slap shots or wristers, and and he's put his head down as he attempts to make the save. But it was a, a cross between a duck and just you well, know averting his glance. He's not trying. He's not doing a check manic where he's trying to bang it out. I think there are times when he's beat on a shot where he goes down on a shot, those shots going to go past him. Um, but I, I, the, the one thing I'll say about his body language is, is some, I think you can tell the frustration now with the defense in front of him. And when, when, look, it's really tough on a goalie when the play's going sideways all the time and then he gets beat and it really is like, it's going to look like the goalie's completely at fault. It wasn't over the side of the net and it's like, his body language is, is one that you never want to see with a goaltender who's beaten from any level of hockey. You just don't, I don't care if you have to skate out to center ice with your chest puffed out, that you weren't beat. Right. And you're seeing that a little bit. And you well, can see with the defense in front of him. It's not even just his body language. I think it's his quotes after the game. You can see that he's frustrated. Look, he's not a guy that's going to make excuses for anyone. And I think he probably adds in a little bit to the mental fragility of this team, something that Ron Hexall and Craig Bruby both talked about yesterday. But I think the other issue here is it's even I think it's ridiculous to even get to Steve Mason and talk about him at this point. Look, he hasn't been superb, he hasn't been outstanding, he hasn't gone out and won them too many games, but he certainly hasn't lost this team many games either. You look at the mistakes that have happened in front of him. He's got a 916 save percentage with the defense in front of him. I think on any good team, the way that he's played so far would be around 930. So he's to Which me he's good. not even and he's not he's not the issue on this team and to even even be talking about Steve I think is ridiculous. Got to go. We thank Frank sir.